Hello and what's up guys, I want to welcome you all to another episode. This is going to be episode number 12 of Becoming Pro. Time is now 12.15 p.m. I'm about to head to the gym and do today pull session, which is going to consist of chest, side delts, and triceps and I'm going to finish off with bit of neck on the last episode uh, I was my schedule got a bit mixed up I had I went to the gym a bit late and I got caught up in conversations and then I couldn't finish I couldn't get to doing neck but right now we have a lot of time we're going to get to do neck um, do around three sets I'm going to use a a basically a strap that's gonna tie down tie to my head and I'm gonna just basically lay on the bench and then and then and then pull up and then I'm gonna do the front of the neck and then at the, the, the behind of the neck I'm gonna show you how that looks like and I realized when I do the front double biceps when the when the tra the, the traps go down basically it goes down and then the the neck the symmetry gets best gets a little bit messed up so i decided long ago around two years ago to incorporate neck training in to the workouts and neck is a muscle group and you have to build it to to create that complete symmetrical from head to toe from head to toes build uh, become a fully symmetrical and proportionate physique that's the aim I'm trying to build so right now before I go to the gym as always it's time to read some wisdom from the book of Proverbs and the reason why like I said before I add this to this episode is because this generation we have not been taught this truth and I came across the book of Proverbs around uh, uh, the 1st of first of January 2023 is the first time I came across the book and then the wisdom I got from it just blew my mind and I thought I'm going to share it in this episode so you guys can also benefit from this wisdom that has been given to us through King Solomon so in this episode I'm gonna be reading chapter number four I'm gonna read a few verses let me just check how long the chapter is it's quite a decent length so guys for, for people who I know this is a this is a new episode this channel is kind of fresh is a new channel that i just started so most people uh, won't get to see this but as time goes on this channel is going to get uh, more known is going to get more popular is more people going to come across it i'm going to keep cycling through the book of proverbs and as i'm making videos so i'm going to read from 1 to 1 to 31 there's 31 chapters is one for each day or however you want to go through it i'm going to read from 1 to 31 and then i'm going to cycle back and then read from 1 again 1 to 31 i'm going to basically do that for the whole of uh, 2024 and then i know every time that we go through it we we come to understand a a piece of wisdom that we did not we did not uh, understood before and this book of proverbs is basically is timeless the the more life experience you will get the older you get the more this book starts to basically make sense to you and uh, you can basically come across come read this book every single year and get new wisdom from it based on your life experiences so right now I'm going to be reading chapter number four, which is 
the title of this paragraph is called the a father's instruction i'm gonna start from verse one which says listen to my correction my sons for i speak to you as your father this is basically god talking let discernment into your heart and you will grow wise with understanding i impart my revelation truth is a gift to you so remain faithful to my instruction for i too was once once the delight of my father and cherished by my mother the beloved child i don't know who's saying this right now who is uh, saying this uh, god obviously he's not, he, he he doesn't have a father because he is the he is the ultimate father of us all i'm assuming this is probably jesus talking to king solomon or somebody else i don't know who's saying this exactly but let's read on let's let's just get the wisdom let's focus on the wisdom that has been shared he says for i too was once the delight of my father and cherished by my mother the beloved child then my father taught me saying never forget my words maybe this is king solomon saying this to writing this from his own perspective he's writing it for someone else if you do everything that i teach that i teach you you will reign in life so make wisdom your quest search for revelation of life's meaning don't let what i say go in one air and out of the other stick with wisdom and she will stick to you protecting you throughout your days she will rescue you all those who pass she will rescue you all those who passionately listen to her voice wisdom is the most valuable commodity so buy it revelation knowledge is what you need so invest in it wisdom will exalt you when you exalt her truth she will lead you to honor and favor when you live your life by her insights so here is 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 characters characterizing wisdom as a feminine because she's using her as 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 her as her basically pronouns so what this is tell us that wisdom it comes in the form of feminine energy it comes in the form of femininity so it could be the case why why women tend to be wiser than men they have a wider perspective in life they have more understanding of life because they're not um, they're not physically as strong as men are so god gave them the wisdom to see to to understand so they can protect themselves with wisdom this is just the assumption coming from me this is not from the bible so what is telling us here is, is is saying that wisdom is the is the most valuable commodity that we should go after wisdom more than we go after anything because wisdom is going to give our life everything we need is going to say is saying here is going to is going to give us rain over life and and then also is going to give us a the understanding to see to judge to have discernment to make the the, the, the good choices so we can be of value to the people around us and to the society this is what this is why it's telling us to seek wisdom and to seek the meaning of things okay that's why as as men we have to spend most of our days uh, we are either basically we are either working if you're not working we are learning to understand to to, to extract the meaning of things that's what we need to do we need to not only uh, develop our physique build a body but also we need to build a mind that sees that that understands that has discernment and all of these things 
So I'm going to carry on reading from verse number 9. It says, You will be adorned with beauty and grace, and wisdom, wisdom's glory will wrap itself around you, making you victorious in every in, in the race. So look what he's saying. It says, wisdom's, wisdom's glory will wrap itself around you, making you victorious in every race. As you go through this, you're going to basically, I don't know if, you, if, you, if by me reading this to you, you have the revelation of what wisdom is and what wisdom can do to you. But as you ponder on wisdom, like if you just go into it and, and then meditate on wisdom, what wisdom actually is, like maybe put, put, the, put the word wisdom in the dictionary and ponder on wisdom. What happens to your mind when you have wisdom in there, when you have a understanding it what happens in your mind and then once you know what wisdom is then you will start to value it more and and pursue it every single day it says here then it says i'm gonna it goes to the next paragraph it's with titles two paths and it starts with my son if you will take the time to stop and listen to me and embrace what i say you will live a long and happy life, full of understanding in every way. I have taken you by the hand in wisdom's way, pointing you to the path of integrity. Your progress will have no limits. When you come along with me, and you will never, and you will never stumble as you walk along the way. So receive my correction, no matter how, how hard it is to swallow. For wisdom will snap you back into place. Her words will be invigorating life to you. Do not detour into darkness or even set foot on that path. Stay away from it. Don't even go there. For troublemakers are, you are restless if they are not involved in evil. They are not satisfied until they have brought someone harm. They feed on darkness and drink until they they are drunk on the wine of wickedness but the lovers of god walk on the highway of light and their way shines together brighter until the perfect day but the wicked walk in thick darkness like those who travel in in fog and yet don't have a clue why they keep stumbling So right now he's going into he's going into the next paragraph. So here he's saying you, in your life you have two paths. You have the life of wickedness, which will lead to darkness, which, which will lead to eventually if we go that path, it will lead to our own destruction. We will keep on stumbling without knowing why, because we are too ignorant to see the errors of our way. But then you have the path of wisdom, which is going to help you progress it will take all the limits from your life is going to help you to fulfill your destiny that you've been put on earth here to do and by you right now watching this episode i'm going to tell you right now you're getting something from this book of proverbs not from me from the book of proverbs that i'm sharing with you through these videos you're going to be learning you you right now you're you're exposed to something that not a lot of people are exposed to and it's going to help you to to dominate your life to reach your destiny to fulfill your potential and to help you progress in life in basically without limit so god here is saying that when he gives us correction, if it doesn't matter how hard it is to swallow, follow it, accept it, because everything God does is for our own good. Everything a father does is for the best interest of the child. God, he is the one who created us. He is the one who gave us uh, consciousness. And as our father, as the one who gave us consciousness, he doesn't want anything bad for either you or me because he created us. We are 
his positions and he wants basically what's best for us so i hope you see the love of of the father for his children and basically this book is what is or is, is bringing you wisdom from the father to you so you can fulfill the purpose that you were made for so now i'm gonna read one more paragraph because this is this is basically so good i can sit here and read the bible all day this book the bible is one of those books that when you read it the book feels alive it's unlike any other book that i have read it's like you're reading from something that's alive something that, that is is talking to you and not a lot of book gives you what this the book the bible gives you is is a it gives you a special feeling i i obviously i've read a lot of books some books when you read them they just feel dead they feel like is this is a dead book it feels like the book has no life to it it has no essence to it but this right here the bible is one of those books that is alive it feels like it's living so i'm gonna read one more paragraph before i head to the gym so it says healing words verse number 20 i'm gonna start reading right now it says listen carefully my dear child to everything that i teach you and pay attention to all that i have to say fill your thoughts with my words until they penetrate deep into your spirit then as my as you unwrap my words they will impart true life and radiant health into the very core of your being so above all guard the affection of your heart for they affect all that you are so he's saying here he says guard the affections of your heart so you got to make sure what you allow and close your heart to the things that are not good for you because they will affect all that you are it will affect your identity it will affect your character and and with the wrong thing going into your heart what's going to happen is going to lead you down the wrong path is going to uh, fill you up with the wrong desires desires that are not good for you desires that's going to lead you to into darkness and our heart basically as as lord Yeshua or jesus too he says give your heart to to the one that it belongs to and that is god he says give your heart to god because your heart belongs to him and he says give the 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 coins which had caesar's face on it he says give that to who he belongs to. give that coin to who it belongs to and give your heart to who it belongs to which is god so he says pay attention to the welfare of your innermost being for from there flows the wellspring of life avoid dishonest speech and pretentious words be free from using perverse words no matter what so as lord joshua taught he says wickedness and evil is not it doesn't is not goes is not what goes in the man is is what comes out of the man so here is teaching us he says take care of your your innermost being and from there flows the wellspring of life so it says from your core from in your heart is what everything that you all comes up so you got to take care of that take care of your your heart take care of your soul and take care of your spirit because that that's what life comes from basically in you in us we have the we have the we have the choice to to decide which spirit 
we want to express we either do you want to express the spirit of darkness or you want to you want to express the spirit of light and we need to make sure that we allow the spirit of light to come in us to basically come in our heart and so we can express ourself express ourselves from the spirit of the from la of the light which is from god and once the spirit of god comes in your heart and the people around you they can see that this is from god from the fruit that comes from your hands okay so you allow the spirit of god to affect your heart and once your heart is filled with the spirit of god then god is going to express itself through your hands and that's where you have a that's where you can build a beautiful life you can build a you can build a beautiful society and basically you can just build things that comes from the spirit of god this is what this is his saying is that guard your heart don't let anything affect your heart don't give yourself to wicked things to immoral things the things that are in this world right now the time that we live in and you know those things are not, is not good for us you know is leading us towards destruction and what here is saying what this is saying is that don't let those things affect your heart don't let someone feel you like i'll give you i'll give you a real life example right so right now we live in a time where there is where where there is a, a lot of sexual immorality is happening and we allow just uh, just free sex to affect our heart and we desire what we desire is we desire just to have sex basically with anyone without the without basically the the parameters that god into get that god put into place to protect us from uh, immoral sex and the destruction it will bring okay i'm not gonna go into that topic right now that's that is a big topic by itself i'm not gonna go into that and then but what's was what happened is in in our time is we we allowed uh the current basically the current uh, medias the this, uh, various media outlets to affect our heart with the desire for uh, basically immoral sex uh, taking the the order the law and order around sex off and allow us to desire just free sex without any responsibility and what that what that what that did is it caused our heart to desire the wrong things it caused our heart to desire things that are just based on pleasure has no purpose in it there is no value in it it's just selfish pleasure that comes from lust comes from and which is a base which is basically a evil spirit is it comes from an evil place and it just it just um, caused us to desire things that have there is no purpose in it that is destructive for us and the people we affected with so this is a one example right now of things that are are bad for us that we feel allowed for the, those things to affect our heart can lead us towards destruction so this where this proverbs is saying is, is saying guard your heart uh, from things that are bad for you okay it says above all guard the affection of your heart for they affect all that you are okay this is what this is saying we allowed the, in this generation we allowed uh, the sexual uh, liberation movement or whatever it is to affect our heart 
and we allowed us to uh, basically uh, it, it caused our heart to desire things that are not good you know what I mean I'm sure you have experienced it I experienced that there were a time I, I was into the 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 pickup artist community and I didn't know I was basically when I was younger I was naive I thought that there is some sort of value in those things there is some sort of value by basically in in the pickup artist community the objective is to sleep with as many as many women as you can and when your mind is naive you allow those things to affect your heart it's gonna those things gonna lead you towards things that are not good for you things that are destructive things that that have no purpose and i was naive i went i went into those things and i thought there is value in those i thought that those things was, was going to improve my life but now looking back now i regret doing doing those things and uh, as, as it's basically wasted a lot of my life so that's why i'm bringing you these wisdom to you to you guys right now depending uh, i don't know how old you are when you're watching this if you're in your early 20s in your late 20s in your 30s but this wisdom what i'm sharing with you right now for some of you it can save your life for some of you is gonna prevent you from going deeper into your into into darkness for uh, some people they already have a broken soul they have a broken life this is gonna maybe put them back on track for the people who are watching this right now they are in their early 20s this book what i'm sharing with you right now if you take it seriously if you take if you can uh, see the value in this is going to basically uh, save you a lot of bad decisions a lot of bad judgments that you possibly could have made by but by now being exposed to the true wisdom the wisdom of god there is a chance that uh, your life might completely change the choices you would have made the path you would have go on now this might prevent for you and you can thank me later of what I brought to you this book is not this one I'm sharing here is not a secret it's not from me this book been around for a long time it has helped many many generations is this that is this that our generation uh, the millennials and generation generation z is this that we don't know that we don't know so we don't know the value of this book but it's okay this book been around for for over 2000 years generation after generation has been passed on and every generation once they do uh, mess up the experience eventually they have to come back to the book that fixes everything okay and that is the bible which is it is the word of god and everything it says in the bible is not to is not is not some religious dogma that is gonna uh, lock our life up is gonna prevent us getting experience is going to actually help us to help our life to flourish and keep keep the bad stuff out allow the good stuff in so we can reach we can basically fulfill our potential and reach our destiny this is what this book is so i'm going to wrap this up for today on the next episode i'm going to start from verse number 20 25 which it says watch watch where you're going 
and I'm gonna just go from there and then actually we just reached the end of this we are just at the end of this so I'm just gonna there's like only a few verses left so I'm gonna finish this right now and then on the next episode I'm gonna go into chapter number five so here it says watch where you're going verse 20 20 Five, it said, set your gaze on the path before you with fixed purpose, looking straight ahead. Ignore life's distraction. Watch where you're going. Stick to the path of truth and the road will be safe and smooth before you. Don't allow yourself to be sidetracked or even for even for a moment or take the detour that leads to darkness. So he's saying, watch where you're going look at what your goal is and then just visualize that visualize your goal and then just stay on that path and just walk towards the truth and don't even go off of that path off of the track even for a moment because one wrong choice one wrong action can lead you on a wrong path and it might take you five years it might take you three years it might some people it might, some people it might even take them 10 years to just wake up and then get back on the right on the right path i used to go to the the basically there's an anonymous meeting with with where they help with addiction and then there was there were stories that people saying they said they would take a shot of drink just one shot of drink and then next thing they know seven days later they end they they end up somewhere they go on for seven days without even knowing what happened and what this tells us is that just one shot of drink one shot of alcohol that do, those those are not for the that those are not for the average people he's talking about those like those hardcore addicts that's not for the for the average person but addiction i'm going to say this quickly addiction has an evolution you might not be bad in your early 20s but trust me when i tell you in your early 20s in your teen years and in your early 20s Let's say you have some sort of addiction. Let's say you have some sort of maybe you you engage in the common pleasures, which is alcohol, which is drugs, which is which is sex. These are the these are the three common addictions. These are the these are the things that people go towards. In your early twenties, you, you're not gonna really feel the effect of why this if you if you're going too much into this addiction, why they are bad once for some for some it, it, it all depends how intense they are but addiction has an evolution it will start um, in, from a moderate level and as you age through life it gets worse and worse and worse so you might not be bad in your early 20s but if you keep going down on the path of uh, addiction instant pleasure uh, mindless sex pornography all of these things and if you don't have some sort of uh, limit some sort of uh, order to it it's going to lead you to a dangerous path i'm telling you it's going to lead you to a dark path that's why things like sex sex is basically like a is a is like a black hole if there is no parameters around it to put a to put limit to it sex is basically is going to lead you towards uh, it's going to become wild it's going to basically uh, you're going to basically first desire the basic stuff and then soon you're going to start desiring more and more and more it's going to lead you into perversion it's going to lead you into uh just dark sick disgusting place 
and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, this, this does happen. This did happen to me, to some extent. I didn't go to the, to, to, to the very, to dark, very, very dark places. Uh, but I, 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 I could see it. I could see, I could see the desire becoming, becoming stronger. It is becoming more intensified, and you start desiring more and more and more. That's what happens with the, if if sex is not controlled, if pleasure is not controlled, it's gonna lead you to the wrong things. And you might be watching this right now. You might be in your early twenties. You don't really feel it in your early twenties. You're gonna start feeling it as you age, as you as you grow older. You go into these into these sick pleasures and what's gonna happen uh, you're gonna basically the desire is gonna intensify so I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna give you a quick thing so let's say you in sex you desire the basic stuff so then you might desire more hardcore stuff then you might this then again you're gonna desire once that doesn't give you the rush you're gonna desire more hardcore stuff and then i'm not gonna name i'm not gonna name them but you know what i'm talking about you, you know where it will lead to i'm not gonna say the words right now but you know where it will lead to it might even lead to some to things that are not even human anymore and all of these things so when you're young or if you're watching this right now you might is you might go is might gone to levels that you don't like what will save you is the bible is going to the church is is allowing inviting jesus into your life and those spirits that you allow in is gonna basically Jesus will push them out so anyway we can sit here all day and talk about these things I'm gonna go and train right now the time is 12.59 make sure you read the Bible and allow the Bible to direct your way. Allow the words of God to affect your heart. And don't go into wicked things. We all, we are basically, we are all victim of those things. And most of the things I'm sharing with you, I'm sharing it so these things doesn't happen to you i went to wrong things in my life thankfully uh, i and because I, I had one habit that kind of like helped me is by is the habit of reading is by seeking understanding seeking wisdom that was the habit that helped me to make sure to basically see the errors of my way and not go deep into those things so guys, make sure to get yourself the copy of the Passion Translation and the book of Proverbs. Make sure, make sure you get a copy of this and you're going to read this together in this episode or read it in your own time. This book right here, this Passion Translation is one of my favorite translations. Overall, the Bible is a book that's going to change your life. So I'm going to head to the gym right now. We got a pull to do. I'm going to go get it done. I'm going to see you there. So guys, we are about to do, I'm about to do warm up number one. So right now where I am, I think the weather is like minus two degrees and inside this gym. It's quite cold, so I'm gonna do 
I'm gonna do like always in the winter training. I'm gonna do around uh, three to five warm up sets, and then I'm gonna gradually move the weight up until I break a sweat, and and then I go from there. So I already, I already done ten minutes of cross trainer, and nothing is basically it's it's so cold right now it's around minus two degrees celsius so i'm gonna do quite a few warm-up sets Number two, I increase the weight by 20 kilos, and I'm gonna basically do around 10 to 20 reps on this set. Set number four. <laughs> 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 Workout set number one. I'm gonna go between five to nine reps and then just go in the aim is just go to failure. So this is set number two. I'm basically doing one more on the same way before I do the back of set. This is exercise 
number two. It's going to be set number one. And this is going to be basically the, the main working set, which I'm going to try to push to failure. And then I'm going to do one back off set after this. This is gonna be the back up set. I dropped by around uh, 30%. So I'm gonna do on this, I'm gonna do 10 to 15 reps. This is going to be set number one. a bit heavy. This is now the back offset. I want to try to go for 10 to 15 reps. This is going to be exercise number four, which is machine flies. The first set heavy is going to be between five to nine. And then the second set is going to be the back off set, which I'm going to do between 10 to 15. Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is gonna be the last set. I'm gonna do yeah, around the first set. I'm gonna do 70 kilos, and then I'm gonna do three drops right after that. This is gonna be the last exercise of this pull session, which is side delts. I'm gonna do three sets. The first one, uh, I'm gonna do first, first set, a uh, check set, and pull 0.5 kilos. And then I'm gonna do two heavy sets and then one back up set. So this is gonna be the the check set just to test the strength, just to warm up of it. All of those stuff. So this is going to be the first workout set, which I'm going to do 17.5 kilos. And then on this, I'm going to go for between five to nine repetitions. I'm gonna do one more set on the same way and then I'm gonna do do three drop sets. So I'm gonna do 17.5, then I'm gonna drop it to 15 and then to 10. I'm gonna try to use as minimum amount of momentum as possible. So just focus on the shoulders.
That's a set. Nick. Nick, Nick, yeah. 